Hey, what's up, you all? I'm Dude4786. I have autism here. Back with another video. So I'm going to start asking some hypothetical questions, given some what-ifs, and then I'm going to answer them. So for those of you who've been keeping up, we'll make sense of where I'm trying to get out here. For those of you who are new, just listen very closely, and you might just understand where I'm coming from or where I'm trying to get at here. All right, let's. So here's a hypothetical. Let's say hypothetically you are a YouTuber like me, and you like to do a bunch of sorts of all sorts of content like food reviews, uh, game video game reviews, let's plays, vlogs, rants, you name it. And um, let's say hypothetically. You work for a popular fast food chain. I'm not going to say what that fast food chain is, but it's a very, but nevertheless, it's a very popular fast food chain. It's popular, not the most popular, but it's popular nevertheless. And at that fast food chain, you are a cook, and everybody at that fast food chain knows. Those people that you work along with know that most of them know that you are a YouTuber. And there are some people that you talk about on your YouTube channel. You never mention their names. You're very discreet when you talk shit about people who give you a difficult time. Your head manager knows you're a YouTuber. And your head manager likes your content, despite the fact that you're talking shit about your fellow co-workers. Not all of them, just some of them. She likes the ones that you... All the, she'll like, she likes it, or he likes it. Your head manager could be a he or a she, and that head manager could like your content all the way up into the... all the way up to the point that you end up talking about your head manager. and But you're very discreet about your head manager. You don't mention your head manager's name or anything like that. You don't give exact locations of the people you're talking about. You're very discreet about their identity. But yet you're able to talk about them in such a way that makes it safe. But for those who watch it and are able to connect the dots and read between the lines when know who are you, who you're talking about and who you're referring to and those who know that are being talked about get offended <coughs> despite the fact that they get offended regardless of the fact that you're being discreet because they don't care. So... Your head manager, he or she likes it all the way up to the point that you end up talking about your head manager. And your head manager didn't mind you talking about talking shit about your co-workers all the way up to the point you were talking about him or her. And now your head manager, your head manager's feelings are hurt. And then your head manager goes and writes you up as a first warning at an, and she's saying that I you had ber, that you had berated your fellow co-workers but here's the thing at, like I told you at first your head manager didn't mind you talking shit about your co-workers as long as you weren't talking about him or her right it was all fun and games until he or she as the head manager became the target subject of your video. And now your head manager wants to act like she cared about the co-workers. It wasn't an issue at first when you were talking shit about somebody else all the way up to the point you were talking shit about your head manager. And then your head manager got upset and then made it sound like he or she cared about her co-workers but I was talking about my coworkers for years, or you were talking about your coworkers for years, and he or she knew about it. 
and didn't and didn't care all the way up to the point that it was about her or him or they let's just say but you know what this is one of those times where I spotted spotted a pattern of human behavior where where I discovered that the, that the person is a hypocrite people will slip up They'll just still at times when they're in their own feelings and they try to be sneaky about it, try to get you in trouble or try to use intimidation tactics. There's always going to be an angle. And if you're clever enough and if you're smart enough, you'll be able to find that angle and spot a flaw that could easily be pointed out. 